and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey. Whenever people get caught up on the game engine war, so Unity vs Unreal, there's something they always mention, which is how Unreal always looks so much better than Unity, and Unity somehow tends to look worse. And while it is true that Unreal by default will probably look better than Unity, both engines are capable of building really gorgeous games. Always remember how engines are really just tools, so it's up to you, the developer, to make the best use of that tool. In the scales of a good developer, Unity can look just as good as Unreal, if not better. So here, let's dispel the Unity looks bad myth. And like I wrote here, so thankfully this is something that is not as common nowadays, but a few years ago there were lots of comments from coolest players talking about how Unity looks bad and Unreal looks awesome. Back in the day there was Steam Greenlight. This is where you had to go through and basically gather votes, whereas nowadays you just go through Steam Direct, just pay a hundred bucks and you get on Steam. But this is basically when Steam first started to open up. And of course, as it opens up to more and more people, naturally you're going to get more and more beginner games. And back then Unity forced the Made with Unity logo on the personal free version, meaning that most hobbyist games always had the Made with Unity logo. So again, that is why some players tend to equate basically Unity with bad games. Even though, again, like I say, it's really up to the developer to make the best of the engine. The engine is really just a tool. So like I said here, so Unreal has always looked incredible, but Unity, whilst being a little bit behind until recently, has always been able to produce excellent stuff. So here's a post from the developer showcasing their great looking stylized game. That's this game over here, which I would say, yep, this does look really gorgeous. A really nice stylized game. Look at that. All those assets are really good. The lighting is really good. So definitely a high quality, very good looking game. And for other examples, you also have Escape from Tarkov. This is one of the best looking games. And again, most people don't really know that this game is made with Unity. So this really shows how in the ends of a capable developer, you can see how the engine itself is capable of building some really gorgeous stuff. I mean, all of this looks really impressive, really awesome. Another example is Genshin Impact. So this one is nice and stylized, so it is not realistic. And it is an absolutely gorgeous game. And again, most people don't know this is actually made with Unity. The visuals of this game are really gorgeous. I mean, back then when it came out, people compared it with Breath of the Wild, which is also a really gorgeous game, so the comparison makes sense. Breath of the Wild is made in a custom engine made by Nintendo, but here you can see how Unity itself can also be made to look just as good. Another awesome example is Ori and the Blind Forest. So this is another really great game. This one is a really nice Metroidvania platformer. And again, it is really gorgeous. And again, most people don't know this is made with Unity. Or for something more interesting and realistic, here you've got GTFO. So this one came out just about three or four years ago, I think. And this one is also another game that looks really gorgeous. Or even the next game by that same studio, so this is Den of Wolves. Again, yet another really gorgeous game. I believe this one is using AGRP. And yep, it looks really great. So here are a bunch of really gorgeous games made with Unity. So as always, game engines are really just tools, and it's up to the developer to use that tool to the best of their ability. Any engine can make ugly or gorgeous games. And here I'm talking about Unity, but like I said here, it pretty much any engine can make a really great looking game. For example, Road to Vostok. This is a really gorgeous game, and this one is actually made with Godot. Godot in 3D is something that is secondly still in early stages, and yet this developer, and I think it's actually a solo developer, this one managed to make something really gorgeous using Godot. Or you even got something like Bellatro. This is a 2D game, but still it is really gorgeous, it is really nice and polished, so everything looks really nice. And this, most people don't know, this is actually made using Love2D. That's a very niche engine or framework, and again, even with this, you can still produce some really gorgeous stuff. So if the whole Unity looks bad, that one is very much a myth. And like I wrote here, so I'm happy that this myth is no longer as common nowadays. I remember back in the days of Steam Greenlight, lots of people considered Unity to be the bad game engine, simply because lots of trash games were made with it. Again, the whole thing about the splash screen being forced on, whereas now it is optional. But thankfully nowadays, it feels like most people, or rather most devs, even beginners, understand that it's up to the developer and not the tool itself. So if your game looks bad, I would say don't blame the tool. Figure out how you can make it look better, because within the engine, you can definitely make it look much better. Nowadays in Unity you have the high definition render pipeline, so with this one pretty much by default you're going to get some really gorgeous visuals. Then another way to make your game look great is always pay attention to lighting. Lighting matters an insane amount. You can use tools like for example the adaptive throw volumes. This one lets you have pretty much baked light, but it's actually somewhat dynamic, so if you want global illumination this is really great. Then of course you've got ray tracing if you're going for the top top end of visuals. Alternatively you have screen space global illumination. And of course there's also tons of assets to help you make your game look gorgeous. For example bakery. This is an asset that helps you bake lights, and the final result is really gorgeous. And this one is definitely validated in production. It was also used by Call of Duty Mobile. That's another great looking game, and it's made with Unity and runs on a mobile device. And of course, use some great looking shaders to make your game really stand out. For example, if you want your game to look stylized, if so, then the equivalent, this anime shader, this one looks really great. It is actually what I use in my own game, Dinky Gardens, and I think the game actually looks pretty nice. You even have the recent release, the Time Ghost demo. This one definitely showcases what can be produced with the engine. AGRP really has improved quite a lot in the past few years. And if you want a nice guide tutorial on how you can make some really gorgeous looking games, if so, then I can definitely recommend this tutorial over here. This one made by Isto Inc., so the beginner's guide to creating realistic graphics in Unity. If you want to make your games look better, I highly recommend you look into this tutorial. So yep, always remember, it's up to you, the developer, to use the tools to the best of your ability to make the best looking games you can make. By the way, I wrote about this in my Game Dev Report newsletter. This is where I cover the latest Game Dev news and any interesting articles that I come across every week. There's a new issue every Sunday, so check it out for free with a link in the description. Alright, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.